Since 2019, Cisco has launched two new certifications, the DevNet certification path and the CyberOps certification path. So let's dig into that in this video. Also, I'm going to show you how you can get two professional level certifications by taking just three exams, something that would normally require four exams to accomplish. Hi, I'm Rich. Welcome to the Rich Tech Guy channel. And in my previous video, which if you haven't seen, you can go take a look at it over here, is I went into the main Cisco certification pad, the Cisco CCNA, the Cisco CCNP, and the CCIE. In this video, I'm going to dive into the DevNet and the Cyber Ops certifications, what they cover, and what it takes to get them. But first, before I go into that, if you like this content, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and now let's get into the DevNet certifications. Now today, if you're looking to start or grow a career in IT, you need to be able to automate solutions. And how do you tell your potential employer that you not only can understand and manage the infrastructure, but that you can write code to create applications and programs to automate that infrastructure? Well, that answer lies with the Cisco DevNet Certification Program. And in earning these certifications, you will be able to demonstrate that you can develop and maintain applications that manage your infrastructure and utilize software-based solutions in order to manage tasks around deployment, management, logging, fault handling. And while these certifications are based around Cisco infrastructure, because they are Cisco certifications, the earning them will actually enable you to demonstrate that you can automate and create code based off of a manufacturer's API. And that's something that can be transferred uh, from not just the Cisco infrastructure that you're learning on with these certifications, but you can transfer that over to another manufacturer's APIs and write code based off of that. So that is a transferable skill that you can demonstrate. So let's get started with the DevNet Associate Certification. So the DevNet Associate Certification is the entry level certification uh, for the DevNet program. And it's essentially like a CCNA. Now, in earning this certification, you are going to build a foundational knowledge on things like uh, understanding APIs, such as REST API, handling different data types, uh, JSON, XML, YAML, writing basic Python scripts, utilizing automation tools such as Puppet and Chef, and also writing Python scripts to interact with Cisco platforms. Now, also as part of this certification, having some basic networking knowledge is going to be required. After all, it is a Cisco certification, and it really only takes one test in order to get the DevNet Associate, that test being the DevNet Associate certification exam. Now, the DevNet Professional certification is essentially the automation equivalent of a CCNP, and this certification requires you to develop a deeper level and more specialized knowledge regarding software development and infrastructure automation. Now, at the time of this recording, in, in working towards that DevNet professional certification, you really need a deep level knowledge of programming topics, including things like the following, application design, vision, uh, version control with Git, REST API error handling, WebEx APIs, Meraki APIs, Python scripting to interact with Cisco DNA, containerizing applications, utilizing Docker, Kubernetes, and constructing a workflow within an automation tool such as Puppet or Chef. This is just to name a few of the topics necessary to pass the DevNet core exam. And that is one of the two exams necessary to achieve a Cisco DevNet professional certification. The other is that you have to pass a concentration exam, just like in the CCNP, where you have to do a core and concentration exam. And so with the concentration exams, that leads me to the DevNet Specialist Certification. Now, at the time that I'm recording this, there are five 
DevNet Specialist certifications related to the legacy technology pads at Cisco. There is the enterprise, collaboration, data center, security, and service provider. There are also three additional DevNet Specialist certifications around DevNet Ops, IoT, and WebEx applications. So as I said in my previous video about the Cisco Specialist certifications, that those create a kind of a sweet spot. The same holds true here, where your DevNet Specialist certifications will identify what you're really focused on as you get the DevNet Professional Cert. And by pairing up that DevNet Specialist certification with the DevNet Core Exam, you will get the DevNet Professional Certification. So now I'm going to give you a little hack on enhancing your Cisco certifications. All right, so if you wanted to get two professional level certifications, you'd have to do two core exams and two specialist exams. So that's a total of four exams, right? Well, not actually when the CCNP is combined with a DevNet professional certification. So let's walk through the process here. Now, to start your DevNet professional certification, you go and pass the DevNet core exam. And then to get that professional certification, you have to take a concentration exam. Well, remember the list of concentration exams and that there are five of them that are focused on legacy Cisco technologies. Now, these five exams are also concentration exams for the Cisco CCMP, which means, let's say for example, you take the security solutions automation exam as your DevNet specialization. So you're going to go take that one, you pass that, and now you have a DevNet Professional Certification and you have a DevNet Specialist Certification on Automating Security Solutions. But because that Specialist Certification is also a concentration for the CCMP Security, you can then go take the Security Core exam and also get a CCMP Security. So you will have, in three exams, picked up a DevNet Professional Cert, a DevNet Specialist on the Security Automation, and then also a Security CCMP. Now, speaking of security, Cisco has a new security certification path that I would highly recommend to anybody who is pursuing a security CCMP or CCIE as a sort of a bolt-on enhancement to their to the certifications that they that you already have earned or will be earning. Now, the while the security specialist CCNP or CCIE certifications focus on securing your environment, the the Cisco Cyber Ops certifications are focused around the operational side of cybersecurity. And there are two levels to the cyber ops certifications. There's the associate level and the professional level. So similar to the CCNA, CCNP. Now to give you an idea of what's covered in the cyber ops uh, certification, some of the topics listed in the curriculum include securing your infrastructure, understanding the risks, the threats, vulnerabilities, and exploits. This is actually something that is already present in the CCNP security program. There's also security monitoring, threat defense, de, uh, performing data capture and analytics on that data, understanding, identifying, and defending against different cyber attacks, things like network attacks, web application attacks, uh, social engineering attacks, forensic investigation of cyber attacks, uh, doing intrusion analysis, incident response planning, and incident handling. So that's just to name a few of the topics that are covered in the Cyber Ops program. Now, to get the Cyber Ops Associate, there's just one exam you have to do, and it's the Cisco Cybersecurity Operations Fundamentals exam. 
And then to get the cyber ops professional certification, there are two exams. You have the Cisco cyber ops core exam, which uh, is just like any other professional level cert. You have your, your core certification. And at the time I'm recording this video, there's really only one concentration exam in cyber ops. And that would be the forensic analysis and incident response cyber ops exam. Now these new certification pads offered by Cisco are really designed to help IT professionals meet the rapidly changing needs of technology in our world. So my question here is, are you looking to get any of these certifications or are you actively working for these certifications? If so, please comment down below and be sure to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button for more content from the Rich Tech Guy channel. Thank you.